be similar, so uh, it'll be a great race. We stirred them up last year and they took it really well. The rivalry between Australia and Kiwis is alive and well. Don't you worry about that. We'll ask a dumb question. Who will win the Trans Tasman? Kiwis! <laughs> of course! <laughs>
Well, anniversaries abound here at the Muscle Car Masters, and this one's an important one. It's the 40th anniversary of the mighty GTHO Falcon. Of course, it was built with one goal in mind, and that was to win the Bathurst 500 in 1969. It didn't quite get the job done first time out, but phases two and three of this car mopped up on the mountain for the next two years. Moffat rounds Forest Elbow and heads for Conrod Strait for the last time. He leads McPhee and goes on to win from his teammate with Don Holland third, a lap behind. Coming up, we meet a true legend of the sport in Alan Moffat. We catch up with some of the great cars in the Heritage Hot Lap demonstrations, including the Monaro GDS 350 and, of course, Brookie's A9X. Muscle Car anniversaries being celebrated this weekend at the Muscle Car Masters, including the 40th anniversary of the GTHO Falcon, the Monaro GDS 350, the Capri, and of course the L34 Tirana celebrating its 35th birthday. The largest crowd in the history of the race has come to see what promises to be the most thrilling motor race of its kind ever staged, with main interest in the battle for line honours between the new and specially built Ford Falcon GTHOs and the car that won convincingly last year, the Holden Monaro GTS. When you've got a legend like Alan Moffat at the Muscle Car Masters, it's only the right thing to do to have some of his legendary cars here. It's significant this year because it's the 40th anniversary of the mighty GTHO Falcon. This car, the Phase 1 as it was, was Moffat's first Ford Works car. He and John French took it to victory first up in the Sandown 3-hour in 1969, and then it was Moffat's first Bathurst car later that season. He and Alan Hamilton finished in fourth spot. Moving right along to the Phase 3 Falcon, this car was Moffat's first Touring Car Championship winner. He battled with Peter Brock in the XU1 Tirana right throughout 1973. It was the first year of the famous Group C Touring Car regulations. Well, they were so uh, significant in my overall uh, career uh, manifesto, if you like. And uh, I enjoyed working with Al Turner and certainly the, all of the fellows from Lot 6 that were was the, the area where the cars were built in secret. Well, by secret, I mean away from the maddening crowds. Um, and, and it was just one of these things. We all worked together, truly. Uh, I was just proud to be uh, in, in the seat when the checkered flags came up. By today's standards, they were just Model Ts. I mean, the brakes were still so close to standard, it didn't matter. It was scarily close to standard that, that they didn't matter. And uh, the weight of the cars, they were heavy. Uh, the tire width wasn't much to talk about. Uh, they, they weren't a dream to drive, but if you took the view that it was 1,000 kilometers, or in the early days, 500 miles, and you aimed for the finish line rather than the first corner, you had a chance of succeeding. The V8 still, in 1969, was doing 165 miles an hour down Conrad. I mean, this, these things moved. They really did. A lot of race cars just go to the tip because they get worn out or, or driven into the ground or driven into turn two at Bathurst and there's nothing left of them. Uh, it, it is great to have them and you, at the time you didn't think that much about it. Who, you, you thinking about what you're going to do in 30 years from now, 40 years? Keep your mind on the job because 40 years goes by like four minutes. The Castrol Heritage Hot Laps at the Muscle Car Masters. A chance for some weird and wonderful machines to get on track and, well, this one's weird. Sure is. The big Ford Galaxy 427 driven by Dennis O'Brien. A very, very rare car. Originally built by Holman Ludy in the US. Imported by Len Lukey, but never raced. And uh, Dennis doing a terrific job. A full restoration on this car. And it is an absolute monster. Jack Brabham celebrating his 50th anniversary, or the 50th anniversary since his first